Hey Lash Lovers, welcome to our Divine Lashes B blog. So you decided you wanted to try a lash serum and started to do some research and came across an ingredient called prostaglandin. And now you're a little hesitant about using it just because you don't know what they are and what they do. In this video, I'm going to share with you exactly what prostaglandins are, why they're found in your lash serums, if they're safe to use or not, and a list of lash serums that includes prostaglandins and those without. If you don't know me yet, my name is Asako and I'm the co-founder at Divine Lashes. Our beauty salons specialize in eyelash enhancements using lash lifts and eyelash extensions. We also recommend products as well. We opened our first location in 2008 with a dream and a vision, and we haven't looked back since. With this YouTube channel, I want to share with you everything that I learned from lashing thousands of women over the years. So let's dive into today's topic. Let me first explain to you what prostaglandins are. Prostaglandins are a class of fatty acids that occur naturally in our bodies. They're known to play a key role in a number of functions, including inflammation, blood pressure, and contraction of smooth muscle tissue. So what does this have to do with lash serums? It turns out that some serums include a prostaglandin analog, which is a synthetic form of prostaglandin. And why do some lash serums include a prostaglandin analog? It's not uncommon for certain drugs to be repurposed for other uses once it's on the market. Bimodopros is a prostaglandin analog which was approved by the FDA back in 2001 for treating glycoma. The doctors noticed one of the side effects of using this drug was healthier and longer lashes. And this is how Latisse was created. Latisse is the first and only eyelash serum that is approved by the FDA, which includes prostaglandin. And if you want to use Latisse, you'll need a prescription from your doctor. All other eyelash growth serums are therefore considered cosmetic and over-the-counter products. Latisse is truly effective, but you want to consider some of the risks before using a prostaglandin-based lash serum, which includes itchy eyes, dryness, redness, eye irritation, eye discoloration, and sometimes blurry vision. Should you choose a serum with prostaglandin? The, at the end of the day, the decision is really yours to make if you want to use a lash serum that includes prostaglandin. Just make sure you speak with your doctor to understand the potential risks. I personally decided to steer clear from using a prostaglandin-based lash serum and instead use a peptide-based lash serum instead, just because of the drastically reduced side effects. And if you're interested in reading more about the type of lash serums that I use, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. And Bimodopros is not the only prostaglandin analog that you can find. When analyzing the ingredients list, you can find synthetic prostaglandin compounds such as these. So it's important to be aware of these other names when reading the label. And here's a table of lash serums that include prostaglandin. If you want to see the most up-to-date version of this table, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. And now let's talk about serums without prostaglandin. Most of these lash serums listed here are peptide-based, which means they stimulate the growth of your eyelashes by promoting the production of keratin. And most of these serums will support your eyelashes during their three stages of growth, in the antigen, catagen, and telogen phases. Choosing the right serum may not be the easiest task. The problem is that most lash serums include a prostaglandin analog, which can cause some serious side effects. And they probably haven't gone through the same safety testing as a medication would. I hope this video will help you make an informed decision when choosing the right serum for you. I'm sure that there are other effective lash serums that doesn't include prostaglandin, which was not mentioned in this video. So if you know of any, please comment below because I would love to read the ingredients list. And if you have any other questions, I would love to hear from you. Until next time, bye.